A circuit has been built using two paths for the flow of the current. One of the paths has a single resistor and the other has two resistors in a series as shown in the diagram at the right. For the two resistors in series, the second has a resistance that is three times the resistance of the first one in the series. The single resistors, the single resistor has a resistance that is six OHMS more than the resistance of the first resistor in the series, and the total resistance of the circuit is four electric current. Write an equation to model the situation and to this equation, what is the resistance of each of the resistors? Now, in order to solve this question, at first we need to write an equation. Writing an equation is so simple and easy. At first, we just need to write the simple or basic equation for the electric current resistance, which is 1 over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 and so on. It depends on the total resistors that you have in a diagram. So the total resistance is already given in the question, which is 4 OHMS. So this is the total. So it's going to be 1 over 4 equals the R1 is the resistor in the first path. The first path, we have just a single resistor, which is R plus 6. So it's going to be 1 over R plus 6 plus 1. R2 is the second path. In the second path, we have double resistor, which is R and 3R. We're just going to add them together. So it's going to be R plus 3R. We found our equation. Now that we found our equation, we need to solve this equation. So we found our equation, which is 1 over 4 equals 1 over R plus 6 plus R plus 1 over R plus 3R. As you can see here, that, that we need to add them. So we're going to add them 1 over 4 equals 1 over r plus 6 plus 1 over 4 r. In order to solve this equation, we need to have the same denominator. In order to have that, we're just going to simply multiply this by 4 r and multiply this by r plus 6. So overall, it will give us a product of 4R plus R plus 6 over 4R times R plus 6. Here, we're just going to add the common factors, which is 4R and R, and we're going to multiply this so it's going to be 5r plus 6 over 4r squared plus 24r so here we stopped at this equation and this equation we're going to cross multiply We crossed multiply to simplify our expression and to get rid of the fraction and to make it easier to solve. So when we cross multiply, it's going to be 4 times 5r plus 6 equals to 4r squared plus 24r. We're going to simplify by multiplying. So it's going to be 20r plus 24 equals to 4r squared plus 24r. As we simplified our expression more, we stopped at a quadratic equation, which is 4r squared plus 4r minus 24 equals to 0. Every time you see an expression that has squared and it is equals to 0, that means that it is an quadratic equation. To solve this quadratic equation, we need to simplify it more. As you can see here that we have factors of 4, which we can divide this expression 
to 4 to simplify it more. As we divide, it will give us a value of r squared plus r minus 6 equals to 0. We divided 4 by 4, which gave us r squared, and the other 4 by 4, which gave us r, and 24 divided by 4, which is minus 6. One of the most important factors of quadratic equations are factorizing. We stopped at this equation that we need to factorize in order to find the value of r. When we factorize, we need to find a value that when you multiply it, it will give you negative 6, and when you add them together, they will give you the product of r. So when we factorize, it's going to give us a value of r minus 2 times r plus 3, which is equals to 0. As you can see here that when you multiply negative 3, I mean negative 2 and 3, it will give you a value of negative 6. And when you add those values together, they will give you a value of positive r. Now we need to find the value of, the, of r. We're just going to set each bracket equals to 0. And the other one, we're just going to do the same, set it equals to 0, and it will give us a value of negative 3. But in the, when finding the resistance of an electric current, it's always positive. So you're just going to choose the positive answer. So the answer is R equals to 2. Now let's move on to the second part of the question, which says, what is the resistance of each of the resistors? We found out that the R is equals to 2. So in order to find the resistance of each resistor, we're just going to apply R. Instead of R here, we're going to apply it by 2. And here, we're going to do the same thing. So the first path it has r plus 6 as a resistor so it's going to be 2 plus 6 which is equals to 8 so the first resistor is equals to 8 let's move on to the second path which has double resistors r equals to 2 and here 3 times r so 3 r equals to 3 times 2 which is equals to 6 so the last resistor is equals to 6 resistance and that's how you find the resistance of each of the resistors